Dogs play a major role in so many people's lives. For some, they're like children. For others, like a best friend. Mine's the sweet one. But when a dog shows aggressive tendencies, they're often taken to shelters, deemed unadoptable, and in some cases, euthanized. I think it's an exciting finding. Something researchers in this Oregon State University lab think may not have to happen in the future. They believe a simple change in diet could potentially make one of those unadoptable, aggressive dogs calm and loving again. This is the first time this kind of study has ever been done. The scientists studied the microorganisms found in the gastrointestinal tracts of two dozen dogs, some aggressive, some not. The researchers found the dogs that were deemed aggressive had different kinds of microorganisms in their intestines than the non-aggressive dogs. Perhaps some of the microbes that are growing at high abundance in the aggressive dogs are expressing chemicals that aggravate the immune system of dog, make them uncomfortable, make them more anxious, fearful, or aggressive as a result. The research suggests that if we could find a way to alter those microorganisms in aggressive dogs, we may be able to make them more docile. Long term in the future, maybe there might be probiotics or other treatments that we can incorporate some of this knowledge to um, benefit our pets. The scientists say these findings open the door to a whole new kind of research. Research that focuses on using the bacteria and viruses that live on all our bodies and our pets' bodies to treat physical, emotional, even behavioral issues. You often hear about how bacteria or viruses might be playing a negative role in society's health, but I don't think it's often discussed how they actually might be benefiting us. Yeah, and it's important to point out, although this is exciting, the researchers do admit there needs to be a lot more follow-up research on this topic to be done. Now, the scientists say the next step is to test uh, different breeds of dogs and then put some of those potential treatments to the test.